at Fox Day Zero 2017 and I'm talking to Nikolai who gave a talk about Java 9. So just going to ask you, I've got a big code base, it's like <laughs> Java 6 or something. I okay. haven't even bothered with Java 8. Why did I bother with Java 9? If you haven't bothered with 7 and 8, I have problems. Then yeah, <laughs> then you shouldn't bother with 9 either. <laughs> you should start there. And we, yeah, apparently you have a lot of other problems there. I mean, no, seriously, there are um, code bases that are still on old Java versions and then Jumping to nine, well, jumping in general is not the best decision anyway, but even stepwise going to nine is likely going to be uh, painful, especially the step to nine. There's, if you have a big code base, even if it's Java 8, um, going to nine will, will cause some, some work, most likely. Not, not in all the cases, but most likely. And I guess the best thing that you can do even now is to update to your all your dependencies, all your tools already now to versions um, just, just that are up to date now even not if they're not Java 9 ready, just because if the next version of your tool is Java 9 ready, but you're still stuck on a five-year-old version for mm. different reasons, and you can't make the jump, then you know that doesn't help you that there's a new compatible version out there. And there are, especially when you use um, sophisticated tools and IDEs, for example, count as that. Anything that deals with bytecode or a lot, does a lot of reflection, all these kinds of things are in danger of um, breaking on Java 9, you can fix them. And the libraries can fix them by and large, and you can do some command line magic to make them work. But the best way to do would be at some point to upgrade to a version that okay. does that, um, does all you need um, out of the box. And for that to do to do that, you need to upgrade first to what is up to date now. And I think that would be the best way to go to upgrade all your dependencies, all your tools now. And then when Java 9 comes out, try Try playing with it. Try compiling. Try launching on Java 9. See what breaks. And if you're not depending on running on Java 9 anytime soon, then you know take a take a time out. Wait for the tools that you depend on that maybe break. Wait for them to fix the problems. Try again in a couple of months. Okay. Just follow around what's going on. So it doesn't have to be a kind of nightmarish migration. You can start using it out of the box and then think about the module system. By and large, yeah. So there are two kinds of migrations. Um, one of them would be just to get it working on Java 9. Mm. And there are changes in Java 9 that even if you don't touch the module system at all, things that you used to work earlier don't work anymore. So this is one part of the migration story. And to just to run on Java and just to compile and run on Java 9, you have to fix these things. For example, if you use reflection, um, or just even if you don't use reflection, if you just import types in Sun, misc something, for example, or many of the com Sun packages, these imports will fail um, on Java 9, regardless of whether you use the module system or not. Then again, you can use command line flex to get out of that, or you might want to actually use public API if, if, it, if it exists. So this is the first part. And then the second part is to actually migrate your own application into the module system if you want to. And then um, I would actually consider that second part to be easier than the first part. Because the first part, you really have no choice. If you want to run on Java 9, you have to do, you have to get all working at once. You can move into the module system stepwise. Like first have one module, then have two modules, then split things out. Like you can, there's a slow migration part there. But if you're using code that uh, is not accessible anymore in Java 9, then there is no slow path there. You just basically either use the command line escapes or you just migrate all at once. Can you explain command line escapes? Sure. So the Java module system um, imposes more rules than they used to be before. So for example, as I said, um, you cannot just import t types from the Sun packages anymore. So if you cannot make your code or your dependencies maybe that depend on this code, if you cannot update this, then there's another way around that. You can use a command line flag that tells the JVM or the compiler, um, make this type or this, this package available to my code. That for example works when you use, when you import uh, types that are not accessible anymore. If you use reflection, for example, you might want to use a different um, command line flag. So but the point is that the rules that the Java module system uh, imposes, you can opt out of them one by one um, with this command line flags. But it is a um, somewhat painful way to do that. And you have to be the one on control of the command line. So when I write a library, mm. then I have, then if I, if I don't, uh, cannot update it, I have to tell my customer, my clients, if you use this library, then you have to apply these command line flags. Yeah. The code itself cannot break out of this, out of these limitations on purpose, which I think is by and large a good decision, but it means that there is work ahead of us.
And how did you find preparing demos for your um, your Java 9 talk? Well, if you don't have a big code base, then it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends, actually, because many of the tools are not... Well, now they are more and more, but when the tools are not there yet, you have to re re go back to planning on the command line, for example, which is something I rarely ever did before. Now I do that on a daily basis. Um, so there, yeah. Um, the, the, the uh, demo the new APIs, for example, and writing de small demos for that is a lot of fun. And I use IntelliJ now, so um, the, the, the support for Java 9 is okay. But sometimes you want to do stuff that the idea uh, that the IDE does not um, perfectly grasp. For example, there is a new feature called multi-release jars, which means you can have the same class, the same fully qualified class, in different um, in different areas of your jar. Yeah. And then one version will run on Java 8, and another will run on Java 9, and maybe another on Java 10, and so forth. So at the moment, IDEs don't, don't really cope with that. You, have, you can't have the same file twice with exactly the same name, and if you do some tricks, then you, you, so that, that, in these instances, you still have to fight the tools occasionally. But I mean, Java 9 did not even get out. Yeah. So I will, um, the support is actually quite well already, and I'm sure that by the time it comes out, most major tools will support it well enough. And then going forward from then, there will... Um, more and more features will start working. And I think it's important to notice that the JDK team says that as well, that Java 8 was comparatively easy to upgrade to, mm. and it was a very interesting language change. Everybody wanted to use lambdas and streams, so there was a lot of energy into doing it right away. So many, um, many you know, projects that upgraded, upgrade very early. And that will not be the same case with Java 9. And that is, that is JDK, JDK team is aware of that. So they um, they, they know that it's going to be a longer migration where you want to vet things a little bit more and do it, move it more slowly, and that's fine too. I mean, imposing a module system with all the strictness that it usually has after an ecosystem evolved for 20 years, that is, that's tough. It's tough from a technical point of view, but it's very tough from a cultural point of view because people have to get used to do things a little bit differently. You cannot just say, look, I just use reflection and you know, if I, to get my way with, with jars. Um, you have to face the fact that, especially if you're a library, if you do that, if you do use reflection over other people's code, then your clients have to use this command line flex, or otherwise your library won't work. So you have to be more careful in what you do. And I think that's a cultural change as well. It will take a time, take some time. Yeah.